Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Six Sigma by MBV Mohit Sharma. In today's video, I will talk about how to create a box plot in Excel sheet. I have already created a video where I have shown you how to create a box plot in mini tab. So this is a requested video. Some of you have been requesting me to show you how to create a box plot in Excel sheet. So let's get started with the video. Before we start, let us quickly revise what is a box plot. Box plot is also known as box and whisker plot. It is pictorial representation of continuous data. Box plot shows us the median, quartile 1, quartile 3 and outliers present in continuous data. If you are not using Excel sheet or Minitab, you can also create a box plot. So let us understand some of the theory behind this. Suppose you have this data. In this data set, it is easy to find out median and median is also known as the 50th percentile of the data set. You have to arrange your data into ascending or descending order which I have already arranged in ascending order and the median of this data set is 11. Now consider the data set above the median which is from 1 to 9 and find out median for this data set which is 5. 5 becomes the first quartile which is 25th percentile for the overall data set and now consider the data set below the median from 13 to 21 in which 17 is the median and it becomes quartile 3 which is 75th percentile for the overall data set. Now if you draw a box at Q1, Q3 and median and draw two lines from 1 to 21 so it becomes the box plot. I will also tell you how to identify an outlier in the data set and plot that in the box plot. So for that I am putting my box plot horizontally in which this is Q1 and Q3 and the difference between Q3 and Q1 becomes your interquartile range and the length of the whiskers which is from 1 to this box and from 21 to the box is 1.5 times interquartile range and if any data point which is beyond 1.5 times IQR it becomes outlier. So this is how you can create a box plot without using Minitab or Excel sheet as well as you can identify the outliers in the data set. Let us go to Excel sheet and understand how we can create box plot. So I have data of cycle time taken to process transactions by two different shifts in one process. So we need to figure out which shift is doing better. So first I will tell you how to create a simple box plot by using data data for shift 1. Select this data, go to insert and when you go to this particular graph it says insert statistic chart. So click on it you will find out two charts one is by the name histogram and the other one is box and whiskers. So select box and whiskers this is your box plot. There is a box in the center of this chart where Q1, Q3 and median is represented. And if you take your cursor on this one, it will show you the value of median which is 2.78. So let us create a box plot where I will be comparing two cycle time data sets of shift 1 and shift 2. Go to insert again to the same chart and select box and whisker plot. And this is your box and whiskers plot in which we have two shifts, shift 1 and shift 2. If you take your cursor on the blue box, it is telling you this is the box plot for shift 1 data. And now take the cursor on the other box, it will tell you that it is for shift 2. We can clearly identify that shift 1 is taking lesser cycle time than shift 2. As I have shown you earlier as well, the value of the median is 2.75. Now, if you look at the value of the median for shift 2, it is 5.143, which is way higher than shift 1. Box plot can also give you pictorial representation of your continuous data and give you insights in the data. For example, this insight that shift 1 is doing better in terms of cycle time than shift 2. The manager of the team has to use the best practices of shift 1 and those have to be implemented in shift 2 so that shift 2 can also start performing better. There is another thing which is in shift 2 box plot which is an outlier which is represented by this dot. So as I have told you this point must be greater than 1.5 times IQR and its value can also be seen it is 6.7. So system excel sheet or minitab or any other analytical tool can only give you the insights into the data. The human intelligence has to be applied. For example, this data which we are looking at right now is the life of a carpet in years. Then which shift is doing better? Obviously shift 2 is doing better because the carpets which they are making are long lasting. Tool will only provide you the output. So you have to put your intelligence into it to derive a meaningful information. So all these analysis they change as per the problem that we are trying to solve. So friends I hope you would have understood how to create a box plot in Excel sheet and what are these Q1, Q3 and median how you can create that with or without Excel. So friends if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will come up with another interesting video soon. Thank you so much for watching.